In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this photo calendar. So once you have the photo that you want to use, go ahead. Actually, you know what? Let's crop this first. Crop and straighten while we're on this panel. So that looks good for now. We can always recrop it later. So click done. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to remove these lights from the ceiling. So click edit and click smart patch. And we're going to want to use the pen tool to just draw a circle around each light. So just click and drag that and then click apply. And again, click the pen tool. And we have to do them individually. So click and drag, apply, click the pen tool. Oops, I've got to drag it and click apply and we don't need to do these two because we're going to do another crop so let's click the back button and say yes to save these and the next thing we're going to want to do is add an adjustment, a preset. So let's choose the People tab and click this Isabella Blue, double click it. And so you can barely see these lights, but let's go ahead and crop it. So click Manual and click the Crop and Straighten. And let's just do another quick cropping. that. Okay, that looks good. Now let's do some skin smoothening. So click Edit and click Skin Tools and click Strength and make it 100 and Fine Tune Detail. Make the smoothness 100 and the detail 100. And then just start clicking over the area that you want to smooth. And I want a really soft and dreamy look, so I'm going to go over the whole image. And that looks good. So click the back button and say yes. And now we want to add a blur effect. So click Blur Tools. And I want to apply a radial zoom. So grab this circle and move it over to her. Just her face. And then just grab this. And there we have an even dreamier effect with this blurred radio blur. And I like that. That's good. And click the back button and say yes. The last thing we want to do is add the calendar. So click Layers and go up to Layer Manager and click Add Photo Layer. And there's our calendar, double click. And let's move that over 
So click the pick and move tool. And let's just move that over. And you can go ahead and change the blending mode. You can try the different blending modes. Hover over each one. And if you're happy with this, go ahead and merge the layers. So merge all. And then just save it however you want to save it. Export or save selected photo as. And that's it. I hope you like this video.